What's up YouTube? Motoblade here bringing you another video on the Kawasaki Vulcan S. Today I'm going to go over my top 5 reasons why you need this bike in your life. So stick around and I'll catch you after the intro. So these are my top five reasons why you guys need this motorcycle. I'm going over my five favorite features of this bike and why it's just an overall great bike if you're just starting to ride or if you're new to motorcycling or even if you're an experienced rider. What makes this bike so great? So the first thing on my list is the engine. The engine is a 650cc liquid cooled engine. The liquid cooling is the key part there. It's becoming a little more commonplace on motorcycles nowadays, but not really on Sportster cruiser models. So the fact that you have a liquid cooled engine here is phenomenal. The liquid cooling in part has to do with the horsepower that this engine provides. This engine gives you 54 horsepower compared to the Harley Sportster Iron 883 which only gets uh, about 46.7 horsepower that's a significant difference when you're dealing with smaller cruisers so more horsepower than the Harley Iron which has in theory the Harley has a bigger engine in addition to this being a 54 horsepower liquid cooled engine uh, the engine was originally intended for the Sport Ninja series. It's essentially the same engine in a cruiser and they just geared it differently. So you have the power and the speed of a sport bike, but in the feel and look of a cruiser, that's kind of the awesome compilation of this bike. That sporty speed and handling, uh, but in the cruiser style. So, number one reason, engine. A few moments later. Can we get going today? No, we can't. Mm, you son of a bitch. One eternity later. The second reason I love this bike is the cornering abilities. I heard a lot of people talk about the cornering on this bike being superb before I purchased it, but I really didn't know what they were talking about until I rode it for myself and it might be the same way for you guys but if you can test ride one of these bikes definitely do it it drops so low in the corners it's incredible it just settles right into the low point of your corner right on your apex and it feels so good you don't feel like you're sitting up high and disconnected from the road but when you drop into corners it just feels phenomenal very stable you can get real low with it, and I have gotten this thing over super low, and I have yet to scrape the pegs. So, the cornering abilities on this bike are one of my favorite features. It is just super comfy to ride through the twisties and the curves. The third reason that this bike is awesome is Kawasaki has come up with this new system called the ErgoFit system. So, the ErgoFit system is essentially a kind of do-it-yourself customizable bike fitting at the dealership so when you take this bike home from the dealer they will customize the bike for you before you go out the door the ErgoFit system comes with two different handlebar positions actually two different handlebars and they will choose the one that fits you best two different seats and then an adjustability for three different positions on your foot pegs. When you leave the dealership, they're not going to give you all the extra parts and pieces. What they will do is fit it to you at the dealer and you'll go home with a ride that fits you perfectly, like it was made for your butt and your legs and your hands. It's a great idea. It's a great system from Kawasaki. And I would dare say it's the future of motorcycles. I mean, if other companies would pick up on this to customize the fit of the ride to you before you leave the dealership, that would be a fantastic thing. The fourth reason you need this bike is because the accessories are so much cheaper than buying stuff for a Harley. I mean, Harley, you pay the Harley tax. I've even seen stuff like the Harley headlamps going for four or five hundred dollars at the dealership where you can get literally the same thing online for 50 bucks that just doesn't have the Harley logo. 
So Kawasaki, if you buy their brand of accessories, they're a little more expensive than buying off-brand, but they're nowhere near as expensive as if you bought genuine Harley accessories for a Harley motorcycle. So the accessories for this bike are just way less than accessories for a lot of other bikes. Uh, an exception there may be Honda. Honda's got some pretty good um, inexpensive accessories. But that's a great reason to buy this bike because let's be honest, who's just going to get a motorcycle and then not customize it and not do anything to it? I mean, let's be real. The fifth reason that you guys should get this bike is because of probably my favorite overall user feature of the bike and that is the digital display the digital display is absolutely awesome so as you guys can see not only do i have my speedometer in big bold digits in the front but beneath that i have a digital fuel gauge so most smaller sportsters don't even have a fuel gauge period let alone a digital fuel gauge in addition to that the fact that this entire gauge is digital allows me to have a range indicator up here in the right hand corner. So in addition to having a digital fuel gauge, I also have a range indicator. So right now it's telling me I have 96 miles to go until my next fuel up. Uh, that's because I've only been driving for a few minutes, but uh, that will increase here quickly. It also depends on the gear I'm in and how fuel efficiently I'm riding. But the gauge is really awesome. I have the ability to toggle between total odometer, trip A, trip B, overall miles per gallon, current miles per gallon, and range. In addition to all that, on the left-hand side, I've got a clock, and I have a little symbol here that says eco to let me know when I'm riding fuel efficiently. That little eco symbol has been very helpful. It's not the best feature, but it is a very cool feature to have, and it's been useful in uh, helping me stretch my fuel economy and get me to my next fill-up. So the digital display is fantastic. In addition, you also have an analog tachometer, and you know some Sportster models don't even have a tachometer. Tachometer isn't a necessity to have on a motorcycle. You can listen to the sound of the bike to know when to shift. But it is useful to have in some cases. So while I was out riding around and making this video, I thought of two other things that they're not necessarily the top five features of the bike, but they were things I did want to include for you guys. So here's two bonuses. The first is anti-lock brakes. The bike has ABS on it, front and rear. And that is not an exclusive thing to this bike. Um, as many motorcycles nowadays, you can get that at least as an option, if not standard. But it is a great thing that I enjoy having on this bike. And whatever motorcycle you guys end up getting, I highly recommend that you get anti-lock brakes as a great safety feature. Uh, it's great if conditions are just less than perfect. Uh, if you have wet roads, if you come across some gravel and you need to slow down, anti-lock brakes are a major safety feature that you all should have. And the other thing I just wanted to mention is the fuel economy of this motorcycle is fantastic. My lifetime average fuel economy is right between 58 miles a gallon and 60 miles a gallon. It, it jumps back and forth between those two a lot. So 60 miles a gallon is a great benefit to owning this bike. Lots of motorcycles are very fuel efficient, but uh, this one in particular happens to get 60 miles a gallon and I love it. So that is all for now guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Comment down below what your favorite features were. If you own a Vulcan S, what you like about it, what you don't like. And comment what's important to you guys in picking out a new motorcycle or what features matter most. And if you like this video and my other videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It helps me keep bringing you guys more great content. So until next time, guys, be careful out there, ride safe, ride on, and I will catch all of you later. Deuces.